So we have lifted people up, we brought them home safely, and now we earn the right to invent the future of flight. And I, all, I get asked this question a lot. Many ask me, why open FAN? And the answer is very simple. And Russell talked about customer expectations for more than 20% fuel burn improvements. Not just customers, the industry. The planet expects that we are doing 20% or more of fuel burn improvements. And that 20% of fuel burn improvement from the engine is very hard to achieve. Actually, it's practically impossible to achieve that 20% fuel burn improvement without the open fan. And the reason is physics. It's actually very simple. So over the past many decades, since the invention of jet engines, the engines get bigger. I think you're all familiar with that. And that's the best way to achieve the fuel burn improvement. The fan gets bigger, more air is going through that fan. It's the most economical way of generating that fuel burn improvement. However, what's also happening is the nacelle is becoming bigger, which is increasing the drag, and that has diminishing returns. And now we are very close to an inflection point in which significant increases in the fan diameter will generate so much drag in the nacelle around it that will eat out all of the benefits coming from that fan diameter increase. That is the inflection point that we are very close to it. And that's why a ducted engine, which is one that has an SL around it, has less than half the fuel burn improvements that can come from an open fan. So we said, let's go through this thought experiment. Can we actually take that ducted engine and run this hypothetical thought experiment to see if we can make it match the 20% fuel burn improvement that the open fan uh, can achieve. And because you are now running out of the lever to substantially increase the fan diameter because of the drag in the nacelle that I talked to you about, then you are left with increasing the core temperature or increasing the core complexity. We said, okay, well, let's try to increase the core temperature. And the answer to that is that temperature in that core will be about half the temperature of the sun surface. There is no material on Earth that can sustain that, let alone the durability, reliability, and complexity challenges that will come with that. That's the beauty of open fan. It's 20% fuel burn improvement without any of these drawbacks. Less risk, higher durability, higher reliability, which is what our, because of the simplicity and that's what our customers expect. And on the CFM RISE program, we're working with our partner, Saffron, and we are at a stage of program in which we are making real testing. We're doing real testing on real hardware and making real progress. And I'm gonna focus on four components, critical components of the CFM RISE program. First, the high pressure turbine. We use the world's fastest supercomputer, the world faster, fastest supercomputer, to design that next generation of high pressure turbine. We took that design, put it already in a full engine test, and not only it proved to achieve significant fuel burn improvement, but it proved also to be more durable. And by the way, that technology can also be applied to today's engine architecture. Moving to hybrid electric, we were the first company to be testing hybrid electric megawatt class system at altitude at 45,000 feet. And we today have an engine at our test facility in Peebles that will be, re Peebles, Ohio, that will be reconfigured later this year to test megawatt class hybrid electric power extraction. And we are thrilled and humbled and proud to be collaborating with NASA and Boeing in our hybrid electric program. And we have tested also noise working with Airbus. And we have showed and demonstrated that the open fan technology has the capability to achieve lower noise than today's leap. Think about that, lower noise than today's leap. And that's a lot of that is 
the advantage of the supercomputing capability that I talked to you about. And as we speak, we are running an ingestion testing to validate our fan blade technology. And there is an ongoing wind tunnel testing to optimize the installation of this configuration on the aircraft. Real testing, real hardware, making real progress. This is what this team stands for. We find safety issues and fix them before they find us. We do what we say we will do. And we earn the right to invent the future of flight. This is what makes me proud to stand here to represent the G Aerospace team and the G Aerospace Engineering team. With that, thank you very much.